Hello everybody, welcome to the first build episode of the Normansburg region. Sanctum Gamer here, and I would like to start off by thanking each and every single one of you that left such positive comments, such nice feedback on the last video. It is highly appreciated. It has definitely helped in easing my nerves going into this one. And I'm a lot calmer now. One could say that my nerves has even translate what's been converted into excitement. And I look forward to trying to explain my thought process around this build. All right, so right off the bat, if you might recall from the last episode, I mentioned about the two-way highway that was being built to the starting tile and that it was going to get replaced by a one-way highway. So this is essentially me doing that. The whole idea is that I'm not expecting a lot of traffic to come down you know, this area of the map. So this type of road I think will be a better fit for it. And these rocks that I'm placing down is to try and give the, the river edge a more rocky feel, a more wild feel to it. I want to try and carry this out through the rest of the, the river. I'm not sure how far up or down the river we'll go with it, but we'll see. I'll probably do a lot of it also off camera because it might be a little boring seeing the same thing over and over. But feel free to leave, you know, comments. Let me know if you would like to see me doing that kind of nature detailing and we can have a, an episode that's dedicated to it. But for now, we're just building these roundabouts and the idea is that with all the traffic that will flow on this road, we want to try and keep those accelerator flooring drivers to just calm down a bit. And this leads us into the first town that we're going to have on the map. So the whole aim of this is to actually just get the bare essentials in place. So things like your medical facilities, police station, that kind of stuff, we will place those down in this area. And the whole aim of it really is to make the game mechanics happy. Otherwise, citizens are just going to complain and complain and complain. So we built a few of those here. Things like your refuge, refuse collection, your water treatment plants. I actually stuck that just off camera. I don't want those to be in this area of the map. I have a different place that I want to place those. So just to ensure that the residents don't complain too much. I've just put those off the map, off, off camera, just to, to make things operate the way it should. So we're building the police station now. And after this, we will start placing down the general look of the place. Because I want this area to have quite a few farms, but on a small scale. So the residents of this particular town, the idea is that they engage more in subsistence farming. So a lot of them will just have some lots in the backyard that they're doing some farms. Others will have slightly bigger lots, but most of these areas are just focused on small scale farming. We will get to the point where we do the large scale farming, where we actually use the industry's DLC to, to really start setting up the chain of distribution and stuff like that. So for the rest of this, specific build or we'll just focus on getting people into the town expanding the town out just a little bit and then laying down those farms all around this here is meant to be the main road of this town again nothing big so just a few shops just so that the residents have places to go and buy the stuff they did that they need and that kind of stuff so there isn't really much else to talk about so i will Crank up a bit of the music, keep quiet for a bit, and let you just focus on the build. And I will come back in when we start building the power station. All right, enjoy.
right so now we're laying the outline of the power plant and i'll be putting down the general structure that i want this power plant to have now the type of power plant that i wanted to build was a geothermal power plant now a quick disclaimer i am not an expert in a geothermal power plant heck i'm not an expert in anything electricity related i did some brief reading and i thought this would be a cool thing to build so what happens is that water accumulates in underground reservoirs within the earth's crust right below that sits hot magma deeper within the earth now reservoirs that sit on top of this magma essentially get heated naturally so what the thermal power plants basically do is that they drill deep into these reservoirs of water that have accumulated and allow this water to rise up to the surface now in this water coming up to the surface the pressure around the water is decreased the temperature of the water also decreases as it rises to the top and as a result of that it undergoes a process that's known as flashing now what happens during that process is that some of the water is rapidly converted into steam the steam is then picked up and channeled through pipes various pipes that run throughout the power plant that's what these gray gray pipes you see at the bottom are meant to represent so they will carry the steam and direct these steams towards the turbines those are the buildings that you see with all of these the steam essentially rising from it the steam then goes when the steam gets to the turbines it drives the turbines and these turbines then lead to electricity being generated now the power plants generally try not to waste any of this liquid that comes up right with water forming or not forming but accumulating deep within the earth minerals also naturally find their way into the earth so some of these power plants attempt to mine these minerals so the pipes will basically carry all of these out of this liquid in its various stages in processing throughout the power plant so the red pipe for example will carry uh, water that did not undergo flashing but is ready to be mined for minerals the yellow pipes would carry water that has been mined for minerals and then the gray pipes would carry uh, i suppose water that is not water but actually steam that is that is being channeled towards the the turbines so all of these pipes are meant to kind of serve it to carry the water through the different stages throughout the power plant now this big round building that you see here is meant to be something called a condenser. Oh, by the way, at this point, I thought the LUT was very bright. So I just thought I would lower the brightness a bit because it was like hurting my eyes. Anyway, big round building. So this big round building is meant to be, you know, what's known as a condenser. Now the purpose of the condenser is to take steam that has gone through the power plant that has driven this, the turbines already and basically condense it back into a liquid form so that new liquid once the steam is converted back to liquid can be pumped back into the station and mined for minerals so it basically nothing goes to waste and this big building that you see here to the top of the to the top of the screen is meant to be the main administration building now once everything is has gone through the whole system the water is basically just returned back into the underground reservoirs so it's a nice way to not waste the resources that you've got that are leading to you generating your electricity but rather right, just pump it right back into the earth gets heated again and essentially feed back into the into the loop to the top left where you see all of these power lines this is where I see these voltage step ups being. So the voltage step ups are basically meant to take the electricity that are being that is coming out of these turbines or the turbines driving the generators, generating the electricity that goes through the step ups and it boosts the voltage before being sent out into into the region. Now the plan for this station is that it's not just serving this small Normersburg region that we're going to build but will actually send out electricity to the greater region 
So the sheer size of this power station, I think it's quite big for <laughs> for this place. But my thinking is that it is it is serving more than just these small towns that we're going to build. But at least also by doing this, once I'm finished with this, I don't have to worry about electricity again, which is quite nice. These blue pies that I'm putting down are meant to carry the water now that has gone through all the processes. So it's been mined for the minerals. Basically, it's cooled to the point where it's no longer usable. This water is now being prepared and ready to be returned back into the earth. The red pipes would probably carry sort of liquids that, you know, the, the plant can still do something with. Either attempt a second round of remining. So that will basically feed through the red pipes and then back into the system, back through the power plant, and it can be reused again. These blocks of buildings that you see here with the fans on top of them, these are all meant to be the the mining facilities for the minerals. So there are things that are happening within it that is separating these minerals from the water and then preparing that water to be returned into the reservoir. Another thing I also wanted around here was to keep this place a little wild. So I know I've got this long key that stretches across the whole place, but the whole point is for this to keep, you know, water from damaging the pipes underground and stuff like that. But then at the same time also maintain some natural elements to it. And that's why I, I left this land to kind of stretch out and have all of these wild bushes and trees grow. These three secular things that you see extending in into the river. The idea also is that this power plant was, would be a normal thermal power plant. So at times when maybe they need to generate more electricity, those can extract water directly from the river and then that can be boiled to generate additional steam to drive more turbines and then lead to more electricity being generated. And yeah, and this would be the final stages of the liquid that has gone through the, the system. This is the point where all that water is basically returned back into the underground reservoir. And I like that idea. You know, the, the power plant tries not to waste anything. And geothermal power plants generally work like this, which is really nice, is that once it's done with all of this, it simply returns it back into the reservoir. And, and so kind of completing this, this feedback loop and allowing it to constantly keep tapping back into it over and over again. So yeah, that's the general thing behind my power plant. I think electricity is now sorted for the whole region. I don't think we need to worry about that again. In the next episode, we can now start focusing on actually building the town that we started. We'll expand that out a bit and then work our way towards what will be the one of the main big towns that I want in the general Normersburg Re region. Cool. And and that's it. I, I hope you <laughs> enjoyed that listening <laughs> to thermal power plants. And I certainly look forward to building more. Thank you all for watching. And yeah, I guess I shall see you all in the next one. Cheers. Cheers.